What's up, everybody? It's Wind, a Red 80, so I say it's Windows. Red 87 <laughs> and a California Mechanic. We been, haven't been back here in a while, uh, live anyway. So now we're going to show you how to change the uh, transmission fluid and filter on uh, his car. And then I'll be recording and speaking in the background. So here we go. What's up, DJ Beans? Bam. All right, so the first step is what you're going to want to do is drain is drain out the fluid from this drain bolt right here. And the tool you're going to want to use is a T45 ratchet. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get you some napkins real quick. I got my napkins. Oh, okay. Oh, and there's the oil. That stuff is black. That's transmission fluid. That should not be that color. Tell about the mountain. The what? The oh. And before you start this, there is also this right, this plug right here on the side is where you fill it up with the fluid. But there's a mount that's in the way that goes like that and you won't be able to get to it. So you got to take off the mount and the, the transmission will drop just like maybe an inch or two. That was pretty cool on those bottles. They know, they know what's up. What's up everybody? Look, there's my boss. That's Harry. That's the camel. Side busting. Side Doing the over the shoulder bowler holder. What the plug looks like. Show them the inside. Got thicker threads. Yeah. Alright, so while the rest of this is draining, he's gonna start taking off this oil pan. And these are, I believe, 10 millimeter bolts. And this is all live time, so there's no editing, no cutting, so you guys can see how much time it actually takes. Uh. Sorry there's no music today. There's some Paisa music in the background. Sounds like Chinese music. Uh -huh. Oh, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's almost all the way around. Now when you break the bolts, you can break them off in a circular pattern uh, to loosen them up, but when you tighten them, you want to go in a star pattern so it, even, it tightens them up evenly. Now, if anyone from Milwaukee is listening, we use all Milwaukee tools. This is not Milwaukee. Oh, never mind. I'm lying. I'm lying. Almost got us sponsored. You fucked it all up right now. Or I missed it all up. Sorry, YouTube. You know what I mean? Don't mind the cussing. Oh, YouTube's gonna ban you. Dude. Well, I only need like 800 more subscribers so I can start getting paid for all this, man. Let's <laughs> hit that sub button. I actually only need like three or 700, but still. Oh, yeah. Got him. That was worth it. <laughs> that battery's gonna die before he gets to the end. Plug that shit in. Plug what shit in? No, yeah. your drill. Oh, nah, I got it. was charging all that. This one's plugged in right now. I know it's a bear or whatever the hell. 
could last at least one rotation. You missed one. Oh no. Oh, we froze. No, it froze. Oh, there it goes. It's streaming, but we're frozen. Oh, there it goes. Bam. All right, we're good. Sorry about that, everybody. I don't know what you guys saw, but all he was doing was unscrewing the bolts. Nothing changed. We got the drain bolt back on. And now he left one or two bolts in. That way the panel stay up while he's about to drop it now. Let's see if he can do it without getting a big old mess all over himself. What's going to happen? Let's just stay up there for the most part. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. Might need to pry it down. Come on, Harry, help out. Third drawer down. Oh, give me a screwdriver. There you That's go. Harry. I'll look in his face with it. <laughs> Just grab me a scooter. Partly cloudy 420. What's up, man? Good to see you. How you doing? You're doing good, man. How you been? You. Been good. Partly cloudy. Just working, man. Getting ready for harvest. All right, so this is what the oil pan looks like inside. Now there's a magnet inside of there. If you guys don't know, point to the magnet. And that collects all the old debris and metal and whatever goes in there. You know, now it's, there. yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of like, it looks like clay almost. You don't have to worry about getting that completely clean. You can just kind of swipe it and it'll be all right. That's not gonna really affect too much. Unless you see actual big chunks of metal in there. And then here's the old seal. You can see that it's kind of corroded, a little dirty on top. Here's the old filter. It doesn't look too bad in there though. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, that side does. That filter is dirty. Yeah. We'll just let that drain clean up this oil pan. Right. So that's draining and everything. I got kicked by my son, man, when he was asleep. Let me run the glasses. Anyway, yeah, so harvest time is coming. And, uh, yeah, man, that's it. Huh? So this is the seal right here. Right on, that's right. Right on, right on. All right, so that's the seal. That's the old corroded one. See, it's, it's metal and rubber. And here's the old magnet. And there's the old magnet. So you see all the stuff that's gonna come off of it. This is all metal shavings from inside the transmission. That's all completely normal though. Depending on how old or how long he's done this. Yep. And this drain bolt right here is made to stand uh, extreme heat so it won't warp or get bigger or smaller and it stays sealed. Right now he's cleaning it off in our solvent tank. <laughs> our homemade solvent tank. Thank you. 
Bam. Yeah, they give me a rubber one for the... The new one? For the sealed one. He's pouring a little bit of solvent in the pan just to get it nice and clean. Lord knows how long it's been since it's been off. <laughs> Little panoramic view. Yep. Like we said, this is a non edited video, all live stream, so everyone can see how exactly how long everything takes. If there's problems, you know, you can see that problems do occur. And that's a good thing about going live too, is when a problem occurs, you can tell them how to fix it or do your best right then instead of editing and then explain it. Nice. I'll get off what we can. It's not gonna be pretty, but it'll look better than what it was. It looks better than what it did already. Just do a quick mop up of it. Oh, look, a warning sign. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Yeah, I do remember that, man. <laughs> I still call it right on. That's what I say all the time. I've, I still say right off. <laughs> I even say it, that's why I say it to my girl too when I'm not paying attention to her. So say something, I'm like, yeah, right on, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you have a cool gaming channel though, man. I used to enjoy watching that one. There's a random paisa. <laughs> DJ Beans, you had that clown mask at some point in time too, didn't you? That was you, right? Our workshop is in a in Fireball, California. Over by the I-5 or off the I-5. Lifetime oil, yeah. Yeah. Lifetime right. oil, I wouldn't have a drain plug. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bad Mike 420, what's up? Long time no see. All right. Now that is a clean oil pan right there, all redone. And don't ever forget to put your magnet back. Oh yeah, in there. don't ever forget to put the magnet back in there. Bam! Like a fresh diaphragm. <laughs> I can help you fix your car. I can't help you with your bills, though. <laughs> 
Oh, I said I can help you with your car. I can't help you with your bills, though. <laughs> Well, you know how to do. You know how to do mechanic stuff? You need work or what? This one here should just come off with. There you go. Bam. All right, now, so this this filter right here, this transmission filter, goes. Where'd it go? Oh, it goes right up into this hole. Okay. Point to it. Oh, let me get out of here. Right up in there. Here, hold this light on it, and I'll show them what's up. All right, so in this hole right here, there's an O-ring. You're gonna want to take out that old O-ring. Do you have the new one? Yeah, it's on the filter. Okay, you're gonna want to take out this old O-ring right here because I uh, because with the new one, there's a new one, and if you put it on there, it'll not seal right. All right, the uh, oil filter will pop back off while you're driving. It won't create a good seal, suck up any of this stuff. There's a lot of stuff that can go wrong if you don't get that out of there. Yep. Most of the time, old transmissions will, you'll have a hard time trying to get them out. So we'll see what we got. Can you show them what the new, the new one looks like? No. This orange one right here is the one that's stuck on that. The yellow one came out with it. Look at how dirty it is. Right there. <laughs> Bam. So you got to get that. Yes. Yeah, See, so that that orange one is brand new on that one. So you just keep that on there. Oil just dripped on my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been going around almost to 300. Drops up and down around 290. Like there's two in there. But my views yeah, have been really two good. In there. Oh, look, there's two in there. Someone put. The other one on there before it looks like when they changed it. Well, no, oh no, that's got two two on there. Yeah, but it's, this one came apart. Oh. Unless that is two. That was fairly easy. Usually they're a lot harder to get out of there. Now it'll just slide right up in the hole. And sometimes they'll make a little pop like it went in there and sometimes they'll just fit right in there snug. I just make sure it's the same one. Bam, there it is. Right in there all the way in. Oh. No, it's not even in there all the way. I could see it. Yeah, well, that's just one of the O-rings. One of the O-rings is in there. But didn't they both have to be up in there? There it goes. A little bit of domestic violence, and it goes right in. <laughs> All right, so now we got the filter in there. And the job's done. No. Uh, you can just drive around like this. Make sure you're in the puddle of All right, now he's getting ready to put on the ga the new gasket and the uh, the pan back on, and then we're gonna uh, show you how to fill it back up, and then the job will be over. Sounds easy. Oh, uh, Washington Weed Reviews. If you hear this or see it, thank you very much for the T-shirt. I really do appreciate that. It fits awesome. It looks awesome.
Hold on, we're just waiting for Jose to do his thing. Let me uh, put some of this bolt solvent. He's gonna put some of the bolts through solvent. Oh man. All right, so while he's doing that, we'll walk around. I'll show you a little bit of something, something. You know what I mean? This is a quad that I rebuilt for my daughter. Um, how much would you charge to change a motor mount and the crankshaft pulley? Where are you from? I mean, it's going to be a lot if it's not in uh, Fresno, California. <laughs> no, I live in Kerman, though, but it's still the same shit. But just a mount, usually? That's not nothing, man. And the crankshaft pulley, oh yeah, that's just a, not much, man. Like I said, I would have to see the car and all that stuff, but uh, if you can get to me, man, that makes it that much easier and knocks the price down. Ooh, mini quad, what? <laughs> oh, God. Ah. I'm getting too old for all this. You stay in Palmdale, California. Right on, DJ Beans. We're about to uh, put on the thing, so if you miss how to put it back on, you, you know what I mean? Just go back and it'll show you. Palmdale. How far away is Palmdale from? I don't know. I know it's somewhere in California. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I know where Pinedale is. Do you know how far Palmdale is from Fresno? Not you, I'm asking the guy on yeah, there. Yeah, I kind of figured that. I was like, I just told you. <laughs> <laughs> I just told you all along. I got dang cast. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, hold on, hold on. Show him how to put this on first. What the hell? So, you got to be up to my speed. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. So, uh, don't move my gas. So the gasket, you're going to want to put on the pan first because you're not just going to be able to sit it up there and it'll rest. They want to rest it on there. Holes lined up. At least have like two of them for guides. And slowly, we'll show me. You don't want to tighten it all the way down in. Or I just get it to stay up on Because your gasket will shift a little on you. Well, Mad Mike 420, um, why don't you shoot me an email? Uh, if you have a pen and paper, my email, you it's. Shoot it to the whole world? I don't care. It's, I have, I have uh, my email in all my descriptions of my videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, if you want to email me, man, it's D E A N, <laughs> the number four, R E D N at gmail.com if you can't if you didn't have a pencil or something just go to earlier videos that aren't live streamed and they should be in there maybe i don't know for or sure but or you can rewind this one so the torque on this is going to be 15 pounds per square inch do you have my torque wrench i have a torque wrench yeah uh, i think it's in my okay Set that up for me. Is this mine? No. Snap on mine's craft master. A 99 core, that'll be easy, man. I can almost pull that engine with my hands. Don't All right, so. <laughs> no, he's talking about a 99 cord. Oh, man, that's easy. Yeah. Change a mount and the pull a crankshaft pulley. That's easy. Right. I don't know how to use your thing, man. All right, so we got to put this to 15 pounds as a torque wrench. What do you mean you don't know how to use that? Standard torque wrench. I'll loosen the bottom. That's not a standard one. That Mine is. is all in the handle. Because there's a fucking snap-on. That's right, snap-on. 
You know you're supposed to, after you're done too, you got, you're supposed to lower the thing back to zero so I'm missing it up. All right, foot pounds. So we need 15 foot pounds. Oh, no, we don't need it now. Bam. All right, so that's 15 pounds right there. All right, there you go. I don't need it just yet. Bam. You got that done. So now he's putting the bolts back. Just where you found them. It's like a good little boy. Like a good mechanic. <laughs> oh, this one's extra. Now you do the you do not, do not, do not, do not want to tighten these down as tight as they'll go because you will have a fat ass leak in your pan. It'll warp the pan actually. Yep, and it will warp the pan. So smash the gasket, it'll warp the pan. But these ones nowadays are not corks, they're uh, rubber, so that kind of makes it better. Back when they had the cork ones, you smash those, you have to replace all those. Someone's gonna find that offensive. Alla. Some SJW or some snowflake. <laughs> That's not PC! Who gives a shit? Some feminist. That's not funny. My kid does what? that all the time. Kimber Customs Waterboy, yeah. <laughs> Shiny that pan is compared to what I took off. What part of the snake do you think I'm about to eat? A snake don't necessarily have parts, but if I was gonna say anything, I'd say his knee. <laughs> his knee! Excellent. Delicious. And for dessert, ah! <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> Make you show me your boobies, and I like them too. Mama says alligators are angry because they got all them teeth and no toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> Can't find any videos on swapping my 4x4 to two-wheel drive. Any thoughts? What kind of car or what kind of truck is it? And what year? That all depends on the electrical system. That depends on everything. And uh, if it has four-wheel uh, locks in the tires. Four-wheel constant. Yeah. You're not going on cross pattern? No. My 89 Blazer. K5. It probably has locks in the wheels. Oh, damn. Just yeah. stripped it, huh? It feel very good. Um, an 80, an 89 Blazer, uh... K5? K5. 
That's probably got a uh, four wheel drive. I think those are only two wheel drive. Are they? It's not. No, he's, she's saying it's four wheel drive. If it is. Take the two front axles out. <laughs> <laughs> now, no, there, there should be in your tire. Like, I'll show you where it would be. In your tire on your truck, they would have a thing right here that turns to lock them into four wheel drive. And then um, with your blazer, is it a stick shift or automatic? If it's a stick, front locking, yeah. So unlock those, and then it'll, and then if you have a stick on the ground that has connected to four wheel drive, put it back into two year drive. Oh, auto. Auto locking means you, you lock these, right? Yeah. Yeah. So all you got, if it's auto lock, all you got to do is turn the the things, and it should step out of four wheel drive. Well, no, auto locks are they'll lock it automatically through the shifter. Oh, okay. Those are manual locks where you go out and. Oh, you have an auto locked in, so that's the reverse of what I said. Um. You know how she would get that out of four wheel drive? Well, hey, uh, electrical problem. Yeah. Oh, is it? It's. If it's I'm, electrical or if it's hydraulic, mm, baby. I want to slam it full two wheel drive. Oh, if she wants to do that, she's going to have to do a lot of stuff to it. Ooh, I think that one felt very good. Yeah. Yeah, you'll probably you have to. It, it, that sounds like some custom stuff after that. Yeah, you're going to have to get all aftermarket stuff. Yeah. To uh, take all your four wheel drive from uh, set up out of there. You can't just drop it with the four wheel drive stuff on it. Swap axle and all? Yep. It's probably like a kit. Yeah, you take the whole lift kit out of it. I'm not gonna put all the all these down to 15. I'm just gonna go hand tighten because they were probably 15 with factory spec, not. Yeah, because I can feel some of them wanting to strip, and I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'm just going to go by what I know. And that's and tighten. She's wondering if she can swap her body on a shorty wide. Hmm. I'm not too sure on that one. I haven't done too many swaps other than regular engine swaps, but... I haven't done no frame swaps. You might want to ask somebody that does more body work. Yeah, four wheel drive. Uh, oh. Man, you fucked up my light. You need me to me a new one. Shit. <laughs> I got it on tape. You knocking it on the ground right now. I ain't proof. <laughs> No worries. No worries. We share what we know. Or don't know. <laughs> Mostly don't. <laughs> Alright, so now we've got it all done. We need to get the fluid into this side hole right here. This one right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right up in there. And we're going to use the. ATF Top Tech 1800. Liquid Molly. Liquid Molly, sponsor us. Yeah, yeah. Just kidding. I'm kidding on the yeah, but I mean sponsor us for sure. Oh. Alright, here you go, Mijo. We're not sure yet how much of it that this that the car this stakes. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna find out right now. You just keep on putting it in there until it pulls out. <laughs> and there you have the fluid little contraption that comes on the bottle already, which I've never seen, but let's see how it works. Bam! That's convenient. <laughs> right. 
It doesn't feel like it gets all of it though. But that can still feel a lot inside the bottle. Oh, oh. That's why we got six bottles. We squeeze half of all of them. So far, we've used two of these things. That's two. That'll be number three. This is bottle number four. I wonder how much it takes. to give me the recommended amount so and this shit's clear yeah, that's what it's i was yellow. thinking huh? usually transmission fluid is yellow i mean uh red yeah this is yellow so this is a bmw so that's number four and number five how many we have six yeah So there's four empty ones so far. Mostly empty. <laughs> I guess there's a way to put some stuff in other than that pump we seen that other day. Oh, oh, there it goes. So we're full after about four bottles. And that's how you know we're full. All right. So, this is like four and a quarter or maybe a, a half, four and a half maybe. Yep. Four and a half, so peace. How long is that an hour?